Hi, and welcome to the channel! Now, doesn't that look... pretentious? Just oozing with over-the-top cooking. Now, if this was on the menu, it would probably say something like apple braised cabbage with a seasoned mushroom, perfectly poached cod, pickled cucumber, and beurre noisette. Which is pretentious menu language for browned butter. However, would you believe me if I told you that this is a really easy dish? Although it might look like a lot of work, it actually took about 45 minutes. And it all started with a cucumber and a potato peeler. Making it into ribbons is a great way of making cucumber look more interesting. Especially if you pickle it, which I'm about to do. I'm pickling it with some lemon, sugar, chili and olive oil. Put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes and I would say that 30 minutes is about the minimum. You can have it in the fridge for hours and hours, I wouldn't do it the day before, but the same day, absolutely. With the cucumber out of the way, it's time for some chopping. So I'm gonna use radishes for color, crunch and just get a little pepper note. And I'm gonna use watercrush for similar reasons. And I like this combo, basically because I can do it long time in advance and just put in cold water and put it in the fridge. It's gonna last for days. Now it's time for an absolute favorite of mine, cabbage. It's just a great way of bulk out the dish and especially this pointed cabbage or pointy cabbage is just easy to handle and it's just awesome. It's great tasting cabbage and I really recommend that you try it. Usually I just cut them into wedges and bake them off. But I'm not gonna stop there today. I'm gonna make a marinade for them as well, just to give them that little extra edge. So I'm gonna grate an autumn apple, dilute it with apple juice, lemon juice, cumin and some salt. Now if you want more of a cumin hit, you can just double the amount, but be careful you can take over pretty much everything. With the marinade all over the cabbage, it's time to get them in the oven at 200 degrees celsius for about 15 minutes. But the key here is that you want them nicely charred, like golden black, if that makes sense. Meanwhile, back on the cutting board, I'm going to chop up some hazelnuts and salt roast them at a low to medium heat. Now I bought a variety of mushrooms, just for fun. You can buy your favorites, or like me, the ones on sale. Mushroom is great, because it gives all dishes a nice depth. With the hazelnuts roasted and the cabbages in the oven, all the veggies are cut, sliced, marinated. It's time to fry off the mushrooms in some butter. Sorry for interrupting the frying of the mushroom sequence, but the cabbages is perfect. I grate the garlic clove when the mushroom is sort of halfway there. Garlic gets stuck in the pan very easily, so by doing this it gets a little bit easier. I'm gonna share a top tip for browning butter without burning it. Turn on a medium to high heat and whisk it every 15 to 30 seconds until you get that caramel colored volcano in the middle. Remove it from the heat but keep it in the pan as it slowly goes down in temperature. Browning butter with white fish is just magic. Your magic. Fun fact! Poaching means to cook in a liquid below the boiling point, while boiling means, well, to boil. So let's give this poaching a chance. The trick is to bring a lot of water to the boil and then reduce the heat until it just steams, and you can see the water vapor. Add a couple of dashes of olive oil and enough salt to make it reminiscent of the sea. Lower the fish gently and don't do anything for 4-5 to five minutes. Lift and place the fish in a clean cloth so you don't get that water all over the plate. Okay everybody, I think it's time to plate all these condiments and make it into an awesome dish that just looks way more professional than all the ingredients do on their own. So my thinking goes like this. Get some heat from the cucumber and depth from the mushrooms. 
sweetness and char from the cabbage, while the hazelnut gives it a nice salty crunch, and the butter is some fat to round everything up. And my god, this is delicious. It might look a bit pretentious, but it's very humble in its ingredients. Nothing fancy except the plating. Thanks for watching.